Two words. Pat Riley. Yeah, you can you get that image in your head, right? Dad was the best junior jazz basketball coach ever. He dressed up like Pat Riley for every game, <laughs> including the pictures. He had these awesome black sunglasses where. Anyway, Dad, that was you were the best. You instilled so much confidence in me as a kid to go out there and play basketball and just have fun. And all my friends just loved you. They thought you were the coolest coach ever. So um, definitely a fun memory of Pat Riley, the junior jazz basketball coach. I think I can talk to probably 10 different friends at this day that would remember that with fondness. And uh, anyway, you were always such a good support of us, Dad. And whatever it was that we did, uh, you gave us your support, your advice, your thoughts, and all that, and helped us become the best we could be. Except for tennis, because I still can't beat you. But I'm working on that. Love ya. 250 points, then she gets them doubled. And right then she gets that money into the IR Family National Bank or right into her hand part of it so she can take it to the Daddy Day Shop. Now I think you children will really enjoy this system. I want to tell you that uh, your mother and I, we just, uh, and of course all this is subject to, to mom's approval. She's the one that really worked up this idea and I just... Hi dad, happy Father's Day. I hate taking videos of myself, but I love you so much that I wanted to share some memories today. Two that I just thought of that out of so many memories, but um, one where I was in trouble and one where I wasn't. But um, the first one is that um, you happened to drive by East right in the middle of a really dumb decision my friends and I made one day when we were all driving around the parking lot in the van and one, my friends was driving, and another one was on the roof surfing, while in motion, and the other one had the door propped open and was throwing things out of the door for some reason. And you came in, and you just held up your hand out of your window, you rolled down your window, held up your hand with a very serious face, and said, keys. That's all you needed to say, of course. And we handed you the keys, and the rest of my day was kind of shot because I had places to go, and people to see and lessons to be at but I knew I was in the wrong and I love that I love looking back on it and thinking there didn't have to be huge lectures I just knew where I stood and I knew that I had disappointed you and I never wanted to disappoint you so I felt really bad about that and it was my own punishment another one of my favorite memories with you dad was when we went to Disneyland and I'm not sure how we ever even got to Disneyland because I know you don't really love those places but I remember being so thrilled I was there and then on top of it I got to go with just you for a while. It's probably only like 20 minutes, but I just remember feeling so thrilled that I got to just have some time with you. And then I remembered that we just decided that since we're in the Little Bit Crazy Club, you should just maybe walk on your hands through Disneyland for a while. So you just walked on your hands through Disneyland and um, I held on, you had me hold on to your leg and it was probably only for a few seconds, but I just remember being both embarrassed and thrilled at the same time. And I just was so happy that I had such a cool, crazy dad. Children, we've just eaten dinner, and while I was eating, there was one more thing that came up that I need to explain that'll make this whole thing a little bit more clear. You remember when I said you could lose 10 points every time you were involved in an argument? Well, let me make that a little bit more clear. Actually, as you know, we have five family laws in our house. Boys, now be quiet. One of them is pegs, and we've talked about pegs here today and how much they're worth they are. Alright, one other awesome memory of the great Ricky is uh, when I was in fifth grade we moved to McLean for the year and as you'll remember dad and mom probably the most I had a really hard time with it to the point where I would like come home from school because I was feeling sick aka I was so scared to be a new, envi a new environment and it was a pretty traumatic time for me to be in a new area like that. Um, anyway, my memory of that is that Dad would write me letters. They'd be on my bed every so often. Letters of encouragement, talking how great I was and how he felt like I could thrive in this new environment. Um, and uh, it was just special. I remember him coming to sit on the bed with me. Sorry, helicopter was flying over for some reason. But he'd come sit on the bed with me in these awesome little beds we made. Remember we went to Home Depot and bought pieces of plywood and then some little pedestals to put on the bottom? at uh, Seneca Avenue, and anyway, I just remember him talking to me about 
this being an opportunity for me to kind of um, make new friends and face my fears and overcome. And that, that kind of correlates with the whole Doubts for Traders thing, um, which is another story I could tell about the Slam Dunk Contest 1992 All-Star Weekend Jam Session Salt Palace. I think that's where it was. Uh, we're going out for the Slam Dunk Contest and uh, didn't dare to do it. Again, me being a little scared kid. But uh, Dad took me aside, gave me that awesome quote, our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we off might win by failing to attempt. Uh, so I said, let's do this. I went and I won the slam dunk contest and I got a cool autograph book with Carl Malone's autograph in it and everything. And uh, I'll never forget that day because of that. And I can't tell you how many days since then I have thought of that quote to this day. And it helps me still today. Love you, Dad. Hey, Dad. It's a beautiful Father's Day morning here in Provo. Wanted to start this video out here in front of our house because you, uh, one of my favorite childhood memories is you pointing out the beauty of nature all around us. Look at this surrounding it's so beautiful these beautiful mountains you can't really see because of that sun but it is so um appreciate all of our childhood years growing up and even obviously even till today you just filled with an um, adoration for the beauty of the earth and god's creations and so i wanted to start with that now um you've also always had an amazing admiration and joy for little children and you've taught us to be creative and help kids laugh and um then one of my best memories is of you doing that nice face babe. um and then moving on on that topic of the uh beauty of the earth we had these um apricots come out today and Lila came in with stars in her eyes about these apricots that are starting to form in our house she's eating one right now and so um again just appreciate all of your um love for nature and beauty Happy Father's Day from Switzerland. Here's a grandfather teaching his kids or grandkids uh, maybe a story or something on a farm in Switzerland. And that makes me so grateful for the way that you handle things with Anina. She adores you whenever you come here and when we're at Bear Lake. So thank you for that. And this is your son, Tal. Uh, just wanted to tell you one memory that I had from my growing up. I remember you being such a great feeder of me, in the mornings especially. So uh, when I was in high school, you would prepare this breakfast with a power drink and with some maybe overcooked scrambled eggs and some toast. and. Um, I just really appreciated that you watched out for me to make sure I got a good meal in the morning. And then you would also sometimes take me to a buffet before I had games, maybe at the Marriott downtown, and, and we would visualize. And so those are fun memories for me, and I still take a lot of that stuff with me throughout my life. So thanks for your love, and happy Father's Day. Bye-bye. Two people to fight, and if 
you're involved in an argument or you're yelling or hitting or anything that's an argument, that's something that's against the peace law of our family, then by golly, 10 points has to come off. So in this example, Sarah... Okay, another memory of Ricky. I have a pretty cool uh, location here, right? Water tower. Anyway, it's New York City. Dad taught me to love this place. I love New York City. It's my favorite place in the world, probably, and, and uh, it's because of you. Your mission here, hearing stories of Fifth Avenue, the Mission Home, the World um, World's Fair, uh, learning about the families you taught, and now to be so close, where literally I'm looking right here, I can see 81st Street, right over there, I can see where the church was that you went as a missionary. Um, anyway, you've instilled this love and passion that I have for New York and it's impacted my family so much and there's nothing better than visits from you and mom to New York City because you still have this incredible zeal and love for this city that has spilled out into so many of us. Um, never forget being here for Kathy Lee on my 12th birthday, staying at the park lane, going in a limo, all that kind of stuff, down to every time we've been out to the US Open together down to where you come now every time, go over to Zabar's, pick up a goose egg. It's awesome. Anyway, love you, Dad. Love New York City because of you. But um, another really funny, well, actually, that was a funny memory. This is a good one. Um, I just remember a lot of family prayers with you that I'm so thankful for. Um, specifically when you would go out of town and we would be all gathered in the living room and you would make sure you're touching all of us to give us kind of a blessing before you left town and it made me feel so safe and secure and I think that's kind of a symbol of the rest of our life and our childhood. You always were protector and you always did it with mom and Heavenly Father's help and I'm so thankful for that and I could go on and on but just want you to know I love you so much dad and I'm so thankful for you. And happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. I think you're the best dad ever for a lot of reasons, but one reason is because you ignited uh, imagination and creativity and spontaneous delight and just like joy in the surroundings of life and of my mind when I was a kid. And one example of that is George's store. And I loved that we would always have to use our imagination to see George and that we always got a special treat on a daddy day. And that was just such a, that's such a sweet memory that I have with my dad um, in my childhood. Just um, like believing in magic and believing in the power of the things that I could imagine and that I could create and there were there's so many examples of that that you did with each of us growing up just helping us to really use our minds and our spirits and our creativity in like really fun ways but also in really meaningful ways so i love you so much and i'm so glad that you're my dad so truly blessed they love their friends and neighbors too but love each other best now one last thing I want these guys to be able to say hi to you too what do you guys say to grandfather hi. happy father's hi. day happy father's day this happy is father's this day. is these guys under the trampoline in their little fort playing some games Ow. At one point, Dad decided that he needed to give me the truck. 
So I got the power wagon. And that's probably one of the reasons why I'm standing in Home Depot on Saturday night at 8.30. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you. Okay, Oregondo. Love that. So many amazing memories that have been rekindled by the fact that we've been going on back up there a lot lately. But I'll never forget the time we went up in the back of the old green power wagon and you and Josh or someone were sitting up in the front. We were all in the back, just with a bunch of blankets and stuff on the back of a truck on a 12 hour ride. Can't believe that flew. But I just remember we would slam on the window so hard to try to get you guys to stop and grab like Burger King or something on it. By the time we could finally get your attention, we had already passed about like five miles. But uh, that just parlays into the fact that you built a log cabin in, in Oregon. Like, how did you do that? You're the type of person that is so inspirational to me because you just find things that you want to do and you find a way to do it. And then you take your kids there and you're just like, yeah, let's just go live in the wilderness for two months. Like, yeah, that makes total sense. Um, what is crazy to so many people is what, what would seem crazy to you is just like, yeah, let's go do that. Let's go travel. Let's do this. And you've instilled that in me. And I feel like it makes me such a better father myself. It just opens up the world to me. So thank you for doing that, Dad. Thanks for being a little crazy because that makes me a better person. And I have so many awesome memories because of it. I could go on for days telling memories, but here's just a few for today. I love you. Happy Father's Day. You rock. Children, they don't lose five or ten points because they don't get points, they get those bonus points. And what they would lose is one bonus point each, each time that they broke one of those laws. And so for them, it's especially serious because they only get a couple of bonus points in a day. And so if they, if they start losing them, then they really don't have much chance to end up with many. Or if mom and dad didn't think it was too serious, they might just lose a half a bonus point if they broke one of those laws. All right, here's Charlie. He's standing in for Josh, who's in Alaska. So pretend you're Josh. Happy Father's Day from Alaska. One of my favorite memories with you is coming up here to Alaska with you, just me and you. It was the middle of the winter and the coldest I've ever been. But I remember seeing the northern lights and I still remember that, that like it was yesterday. I remember our flight from Anchorage to Fairbanks on the little prop plane in a huge snowstorm. I remember seeing Mount McKinley and going to the North Pole. But what I remember most is spending that time with you and knowing that I had the best dad in the world and love spending that time with you. It's one of my favorite childhood memories. Happy Father's Day. Also, have always exemplified a, a soft heart. Um, you don't give yourself enough credit for this. You and mom is better than probably anybody in the world at this. Um, but you, uh, you do uh, extremely well as well with just a soft heart and and watching for people that need help and paying for people that might need help at restaurants, just little things like that. I'm remembering. Um, I always have memories of you sharing the gospel with people always, wherever we're traveling, whatever we're doing, you're trying to find a way to connect them to Christ and share the gospel. Um, uh, you um, always find chances to teach us about God throughout life, just with scenarios and examples, and always have, have so much appreciated that. Um, and had that special connection to God and Christ. Um, and again, um, don't give you, yourself enough credit for the, the, the tenderness of seeing somebody that needs help next to mom and Christy. You, you do an amazing job with that. Um, uh, you've taught us how to build a well in us. And again, going on that, you've taught us how to connect to Jesus Christ and know that he's the one who can help us overcome things and to do well. And you've thought about him in a deep way and, and written about him and helped us to think about him. And um, that's maybe the most important thing. But I want to end with the fact that you just filled with pizzazz. You build it. You help us build a home in Oregon, which also has purpose because I mean a cabin because of the ancestor um, connection in that and all the hard work we got to do. 
Anyway, you just always filled with these ideas that build pizzazz and character all at the same time. So just really appreciate that. In fact, I just am thinking right now, I wrote this on a paper towel. Um, and you write on paper plates. I don't know why I'm so emotional about all this, because I love you and I appreciate you and happy Father's Day. Sorry, this is kind of a long one. Just trying for a couple minutes, two or three minutes. Love you. Have an awesome one. Okay. Hi, Dad. Um, one of my favorite memories from growing up is one day when I was super sad because Amy ditched me. Um, I was crying so hard, and I remember just crying in my bed, and I don't know if I got a lot of attention for crying usually, but you came in and you just knelt down by the side of my bed and just gave me a really long hug while I just sobbed for a long, long time. and just was exactly what I needed right then and I was so I just remember thinking this feels so good to be wrapped in your arms and I just um, I know that we often form our image of God after our image of our dad and our relationship with our dad and so I'm so thankful that I've always felt so much love and um, acceptance and nurturing and guidance and protection from you because I feel like it's also helped me understand how our Heavenly Father works I love you Next, um, I wanted to thank you for our memories of family testimony meeting, where we all uh, were able to gain a connection to our creator who created all these beautiful things. We're so thankful that you focus so much on, on him and on, um, and on helping us to share our feelings and our testimonies with each other. That is, is of the most cherished memories of our childhood. I love the way that you treat mom and that you've always treated her. It's an amazing example for us and um, for your grandchildren and all others as well. Thank you for putting her first in your life next to Christ and God. Um, a couple other fun memories. Remember you, I'm just going to kind of like spin while I tell some of these. Um, I remember you talking about, um, or uh, writing in your awesome uh, alpha, and you had the the fly button, and we were just filled with glee as we you push that we'd push the button and you'd make the car fly. Um, uh, Mirrorland stories filled our childhood with imagination, and and uh, not only were they amazing stories, but they always had. A really cool lesson. I remember one about this perfect land that they went to that was a little off because it was too perfect and and um, helped me think about why God's plan has a lot of challenge and difficulty and it was just really uh, uh, one example of one of those stories that you did. Um, and the next uh, thing was um, you were our, our coach in basketball so many years dressing up as Pat Riley coming to the games with your hair slicked back I remember the pride I felt in my dad walking in as a coach in your cowboy boots and your hair slicked back like Pat Riley and letting me play in the games with the full leg cast and feeling all the confidence in the world from you even though I had a cast on my full leg um um you um you also have always exemplified a, a soft heart. Um, you don't give yourself enough credit for this. You and, and mom, mom is better than probably anybody in the world at this. Um, but you uh, you do uh, extremely well as well with just a soft heart and and watching for people that need help and paying for people that might need help at restaurants, just little things like that. I'm remembering. Um, I always have memories of you sharing the gospel with people always, wherever we're traveling, whatever.
done that much. I just have one more thing to do. I want to show you how I, I want to show you how I eat a little boy. Here we go. <laughs> I've already eaten you. You're gone. You're all gone. I do wish I... Oh, my God. I do wish I had some dessert, though. I'd love some... There's some dessert! Uh -huh.